know your baby is moving and you're all but ready to let them loose in the house. However, you may be thinking first about baby proofing, where do you start and what should you actually baby proof? Well, I'm here to tell you that there are some products out there on the market that while advertised as being safe for your baby and actually there to protect them, are going to do the exact opposite and may well pose a danger or a risk to them. The first one that you may well be thinking of putting up or you may have already put up are stair gates. Now stair gates are a little bit contentious anyway. Some people choose not to use stair gates at all. We are actually a no stair gate family and that is a personal preference for us and I have talked about that more on Instagram. However, if you are choosing to use stair gates, it's really important that you choose the right ones. Retractable stair gates are brilliant. We use them at the playgroup that I run. However, they aren't good for the top of stairs because they can be flexible and give a little bit. So of course, not safe if babies try and climb over them. And tension rod stair gates are an absolute no for the top of the stairs. If your child or baby pushes against the tension rod stair gate, then it may well come out, even if you think it's secured pretty pretty well and then the baby can fall down the stairs. If you are fitting a normal stair gate at the top of the stairs, just be aware that babies may try and climb over the top of it. So it is important as well as installing stair gates to teach your baby or toddler how to descend the stairs safely and without falling. Number two then, plug socket covers. This is something that will depend on whereabouts in the world you live, but did you know that plug socket covers, like these ones, are actually really dangerous? The way three-pronged plug holes work is that in order to be live and for electricity to flow through them, something has to be sticking into that top hole there. If nothing is sticking into that top hole, the bottom two aren't live and no electricity is coming out. Now, if your baby is playing with the plug socket cover, they pull it out and turn it round and stick it back in, using one of the prongs to go into that top hole, then those bottom ones are going to become live and they will be uncovered and your baby is much more likely to stick their finger in and get an electric shock. It's actually better if you live in the UK or a country where they have these three pronged plug sockets to not have plug socket covers at all. It's much safer for your baby and actually these plugs are really safe and designed to surprise surprise not to give us electric shocks. The third thing that you really need to avoid when baby proofing are mesh cot bumpers or cot bumpers of any kind. If your baby has started moving around the cot and you are worried about them getting their arms stuck through the bars or banging their head on the cot in the night, that is actually a preferable option to what could happen with a cot bumper or even a mesh breathable cot bumper that are advertised as being baby safe. These mesh bumpers are actually still really dangerous because while breathable, they can quickly get wrapped around your baby. So it's just not worth the risk. Let them get their arms and legs stuck. Trust me, it really doesn't happen very often at all. I think for my three children, it's maybe happened once or twice. It's much more preferable to something worse happening. Now, while I was researching this video, I came across this. I know that we've all heard the phrase, don't wrap your child in cotton wool or bubble wrap. This seems to be a literal example of doing exactly that. So this is advertised as basically a safe crawling hat for babies so that when they start to crawl or walk, if they fall over, that they don't injure themselves and bang their heads. It is true that babies do start falling over a lot more, especially when they start to totter around and walk. However, I don't think that you need to go to the length of getting one of these hats. And they actually are quite dangerous because they tie under your baby's chin. So that means that they quickly can pose a strangulation risk if your baby gets them caught onto something or the wire or string moves around and gets around their neck. So I would avoid these. I'd be really interested to see if any of you know anyone who's used one of these in the past. Let me know in the comments below or if you've even heard of them before. The last and more sensible suggestion is to think carefully about rugs because rugs actually can be dangerous. When we're baby proofing, we're often told to put rugs down on floors, especially if they're hard floors, 
to prevent babies, again, falling and banging their heads. However, rugs in themselves can obviously be trip hazards. First of all, the edges can pose a hazard for your baby if they are walking around and children, when they're learning to walk, they tend to just look straight forwards at whatever they're focusing on and they don't look around them and they certainly don't look at the floor. They trip over a lot of objects. So try not to put a rug in the place as well where they may trip over. The other thing with a rug, of course, is that it can be slippery and move around, which can also put, pose a fall hazard. So if you are going to use rugs or if you just have a rug in your space in general, make sure that the edges are not curled up to cause a trip hazard and also make sure that it's firmly secured onto the floor with rug grips or similar to stop it slipping about. If you want to know things that you should actually do when you're baby proofing, then stay subscribed to the channel because that video will be coming out very soon with my top tips for baby proofing on a budget. Check out this video if you haven't watched it already, or there's another one here if you have, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.